Hey, what's going on friends? So right now I'm at the Creality headquarters in Shenzhen in China and I'm getting to see the brand new lineup of printers. At this point, most people have seen this photo. Yes, a plus edition, which we can only assume to be the V3 plus. So I'm heading down to another floor to find one to show you. So let's get straight on into this one. You are watching a master at work. Hey everyone, it's Kevin from Creality 3D Behind the Scenes. I have hijacked the Real Sam Prentice's channel because he's here at Creality snooping around and I wanted to take some time and show you our newest model, the Ender 3V3. Oh, I love this printer. 600 millimeters per second. This is the best Ender 3. I love it. Our newest Ender 3. So no matter what Sam- Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang Sam, on a minute, hang on a minute. Let Hi. me, let me, hey, how are we doing? Good, good. I, um, I was just, uh, just chatting about, what the heck is that? This is the plus. What? So yeah, we got another Ender 3. This is the Ender 3 V3. This is the Ender 3 V3 plus. Ah! Yep. And what's plus about it is this is 300 by 300 mm. by 300. Check that out. That's a that big, that is a big, big plate. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, there we go. That Text, is. Texture PEI. It's big, isn't it? Yeah, so this is Core XC, so those, like the V3 is Core XC. Yep. Uh, 600 millimeters per second, so V3. Well, this is Core XZ. What? Um, but here's the thing. In order to get that speed, obviously you've got the speed in the belts here. So on this one, you have the same speed, but the key difference here is that you've actually got a stepper motor here and another stepper motor at the front. You have a single one on here. Right. So Bigger this has got two. Two play. on the Y axis. Yeah, and look at these beefed up rods. Look at the size of these. Holy cow. Yeah. They're much bigger. Yeah. So bigger is better, plus size here. And I think this is going to be quite a unique take on the Ender 3 series. Now, again, there's K1 qualities to this as well. We've got the screen. We've got this. Again, similar or pretty much the same, in fact. There's maybe a sticker or two that's different. But... You have got this big fan on the back here. There's cooling of the parts. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, we've got two two great big rods so on the that's, back. To that's stabilize. different because yep. of the ex extra height. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Well, it's 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 to control anything like Z wobble. So as you get higher with any print, of course, you're going to have that rapid motion mm -hmm. because you're going to be having all those crazy movements, especially from this from this build plate here. I think this is awesome. I think this is. I wasn't expecting it. I, I've got to be honest. But I've just walked past somebody's office. We're on a bank holiday here, and I've just found it. So you know, we saw a little bit online what maybe this could be, and um, well, I figured maybe I'll just try it out and see what happens. So, V3, V3 plus. Yeah. I like it. Pretty good, eh? Could have both. Do you yeah. have? Yeah. You want both? You don't want both. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Well, you know what? Here's the thing, you know, <laughs> I, 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 I certainly would prefer if this was a bit bigger. So maybe this is the better printer for me. I really yeah. highly rate the V3. I keep going on about it. But this one, I mean, even these motors on the, uh, on the X and Z, they're bigger. They're bigger. So there, I'm already seeing key differences see between mm -hmm. the two here. There are, I mean, the, the, the linear motion, the kinematics here, are essentially the same. They don't look too different, apart from, again, these rods. And again, as soon as I saw this, I was like, hey, they've put, they've definitely put. A second motor. Two motors. So does that mean that it's got the same board? Is it a different board? I don't know. But this, I think, is gonna be a bit of a game changer. And depending on what you're printing will very much depend on whether or not you go for the standard V3, or if maybe you go for a plus size V3. Excellent. Pretty Boy, cool, eh? I'm super excited. Well, let's get into it. By the way, today's video is sponsored by our friends at PCBWay.com. Discover the future of electronics with PCBWay.com, your go-to destination for cutting-edge PCB solutions. From precision circuit boards to seamless 3D printing, they redefine innovation. Unleash your ideas with their state-of-the-art technology and unrivaled quality. Why settle for less? Choose PCBWay.com, where excellence meets your imagination. Elevate your projects, elevate your success. PCBWay.com, the leading way in PCB and 3D printing excellence. Well, friends, here it is, introducing the V3+. Plus. With impressive specs, it boasts a build volume of 300 by 300 by 330 millimeters, printing speed of up to 600 millimeters per second, and an acceleration of 20,000 millimeters squared, ensuring speedy performance. 
and with a second Y motor, it actually matches the spec of the smaller V3. The 60 watt ceramic heater heats up to 300 degrees in less than 75 seconds. It has a tri-metal unicorn nozzle and a die cast aluminium frame graded at the ADC12 if you're into your metals. This offers stability and easy assembly which just takes minutes. It outperforms all of the Ender 3 models in speed and performance and with features like auto bed leveling, online printing and clipper accessibility, the plus, well, is just where it's at. Well, I've not quite finished. It also includes a PI bed, input shaping, power out recovery and with two powerful Y motors outputting 1000 Nm in peak torque, well, moving big prints is going to be a breeze. Optional AI support and a Nebula style camera enhances capabilities, but they are sold separately. The supported filaments, of course, are the usual, plus PLACF, PET GCF, and CR Carbon. Many of the features that you see on the stock V3 around things like the screen and the extruder are pretty much the same. For example, the two big fans for park cooling should leave your 3D printing experience feeling fully fulfilled. So at the time of filming the V3 Plus, we actually had no visibility of what the K2 and or the K2 Plus was going to be. But if you're interested in the K2, well, you can check that out somewhere here. But I still think that the V3 Plus certainly has a lot to offer. Certainly if you're looking for a bigger build plated Ender, which will certainly have multicolor capabilities. Let me explain about that. So now in addition to what you've already seen inside of this video, we can now tell you that multicolor printing will also be coming to the V3 lineup. So that's for the V3 and the Plus. And of course this makes sense because it's using the same hot end as the K1 series, which again has been promised a multicolor upgrade later on this year. And certainly from what we've seen on the K2 CFS unit, it will have the capability to power multi-materials externally, meaning that only a small number of modifications will be needed to the V3 line in order to make it a multicolor color printer. This of course is great news for anybody that wants to print big, so 300, 300 by 330. But what's not clear at the moment is whether or not you're going to be able to just use one CFS unit or potentially the four, utilizing either four colors or the full 16. Hopefully Creality's roadmap will become clearer in the coming weeks and months. One thing that wasn't announced at that time though was the price. So £479, which is certainly about $110 more expensive than the V3. But if you think it's worth it, well, let me know what you think about that in the comments. So on the topic of Creality's roadmap, it does seem that multicolor 3D printing is certainly flavor of the month. However, getting the quality control right is going to be so important right now. So the K2 Plus, the V3, and the current printers that are being manufactured, well, I saw a different side this time. Certainly when I had my factory tour in Weizhou, the quality control seemingly seemed to be so much better than I had previously seen at other factories. And while I am saying that I didn't see anything untoward at other factories, the quality control certainly at the Weizhou factory seemed to just be a step above the rest. Aside from this factory being brand new, the senior management team led me through the new processes and procedures. Employees in yellow jackets are quality control specific for each production line. And while I was sneaking around filming, I saw production stop on a specific check and it was actually to do with paint quality. I was led to believe that all the new lineup of printers would now be built and shipped from the Weijo factory. This includes the K1 line, the K2 line and the Ender line, some of which were previously built at the Wuhan factory. So as you already know, the V3, and it's no secret, is a big favorite of mine. The Corex Z kinematics, the way that that works, and the speed of the thing is certainly impressive. A plus version, of course, is going to be a welcomed addition to that arsenal. Um, and I can't wait to get a hold of one of those. Now, obviously, in this video, I was only able to use the printer for three or four days. So I had me going around all different places inside of China, um, and I saw lots of different printers. But the time that I did spend with that printer, I was very, very impressed. And I've got no reason to think that it's going to be anything less than epic. Now, one of the specific areas that I want to talk about is, please, Creality, can you get this Max Plus Neo stuff under control? Let's have some kind of naming process where people understand exactly what we're getting. Um, is it a Max? Is it a Plus? Is it a 350? Is it a 300? Um, but what I will certainly say is that the Weijo factory is 100% a step in the right direction. I think the quality control coming out of that factory, I hope is going to be absolutely epic and hopefully and good luck to you guys um when we see that k2 plus i think that's going to blow people away 
if Creality gets it right. And hopefully they will. But let me know about what you think about all this stuff in the comments below. Multicolor, i3 multicolor, bigger beds, the plus, the max, all that kind of crazy stuff. And there's more to come from the Made in China video. So make sure you hit that like button and maybe chuck us a subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye for now. You are watching a master at work.